In the first stage of the contest, the entrants must submit an original recipe based on a particular ingredient. The judges congregate at the Ruse Waterside Inn to give a blind evaluation of the written entries. At the paper judging, as judges, we get all of the recipes and we read through them and um, we're looking for a recipe that is concise, uh, that makes sense, that makes us feel hungry, that we want to taste the recipe, it's, uh, that taste the food. Don't overcomplicate it, keep it simple. They want to see, you know, clear understanding of what they're asking you and do a dish that you're really confident in and that you believe in. At the end of the day, when you judge, it's all blind. It's about the dish and about the cooking. This year's challenge is to create a recipe to serve four people using two whole gilt head sea bream and one variety of mollusk of the chef's choice accompanied by two garnishes. One garnish must include green glow artichokes and a sauce must accompany the dish. I think sea bream is such a lovely fish and it's readily available. Um, it's not one of those very expensive uh, items either. And I, I think it's got scope for creativity as well. Morning judges, thank you for coming here today. Um, today is paper judging. Blind judging, we don't know uh, where the competitors are from, which I think is fair. Uh, that way we don't, uh, we, we can't be influenced. Um, so it's purely, purely on the recipe and the costings. So, um, let's get cracking. I thought it was really original and I really want, I really, I really want to taste it. I like the explanation beforehand. I thought the recipe was really well laid out. What is it you guys didn't like about it? I put it looks amateurish just from the, you know, from the pictures. Yeah. Like flavours all over the place. The parmesan, it was disjointed, I thought <clears throat> the dish was as well. I don't know, I found something quite appealing about it. There were elements that I thought worked together. I like the idea of the broccoli puree. And I think that competitor has some talent there. Some of the costings were simply outrageous. I mean, I'm struggling with, with some of them to, to go through there. I put in here, wow, I like the idea of the recipe. Love the idea. Shame. Food cost. I mean, that's the reason why. I think he just made a mistake with the artichoke. Because that's like 11 pounds each. He's got six quid's worth of shallots. The costing's clearly part of the rules. Sure. That is miles away. It's not even like a couple of pence. No. It's like. I wouldn't count land snails as a shellfish. Yeah. If he'd used um, sea whelks. snails, whelks or something, I'd say, yeah, no problem. But Whether it's land or sea, we've made the statement. Shellfish. Yes, he hasn't gone C, but he's actually done something different to everybody else. It also shows a, a tiny bit of originality. Though. Yeah. I mean, this recipe, for example, 1.2 kilo of butter for four people. I mean, not wrong with that. <laughs> <laughs> the entrants are whittled down to just 18, who compete in simultaneous regional cook-offs in London and in Birmingham. That's it. We've got our regional finalists. So uh, thank you, judges, for today for your hard work and. Um, I'm really looking forward to a hearty lunch, Alain. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> Alain Roux, Brian Turner, Andre Garrett, Simon Holston and James Martin oversaw the Birmingham heat. While in London, the judges were Michelle Roux Jr., Andrew Fairley, Sat Baines, Angela Hartnett, Rachel Humphrey and Claire Smith. On the day, the competitors had two and a half hours to cook their submitted recipe and also a further challenge. They had to invent a dessert from a box of mystery ingredients. The judges were looking for recipes and methods which demonstrated the best balance of creativity, taste, style and practicality in the finished dish. It was a tense competition and at the end of it, from the 18 regional finalists, just six were chosen. They are Martin Carabot, Below Hyde, London. Ben Champkin, Long Clume, Cumbria. Oliver Marlow, Roganic, London. Sam Nash, Long Clume, Cumbria. Ryan Porter, Northcote, Lancashire. Fergus Wilford, Cliveden House, Berkshire. <laughs>